everyone welcome back to the sugar tits channel so i was recently on tiktok troll scrolling as you do and i randomly came across this grotesque video of this woman massaging her overly injected fake lips these things were huge like a baboon's backside and i guess that led me down the rabbit hole of botched plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures and i tell you what it's bloody scary so back a long time ago when you think of plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures you'd really think about celebrities. You know, people who had a lot of money and could afford these procedures. But this trend has exploded these days among the very general public. And that includes impressionable young girls spending money that they don't really have on procedures to change their appearance, to fit in with whatever trend or fad is currently the thing. And you can blame celebrities like the Kardashians for making procedures really trendy, like lip fillers. Here's the first video I was talking about before about this woman with gigantic lip fillers that she actually thinks make her look really good. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I don't know why you would ever do that to your face. Look at the way she was just massaging them around like it was just packed full of jelly and that any minute they could just burst all over her fingers. Disgusting. And the sad thing is, is that this has become really trendy. Girls want to go for the big duck lips. And I personally know several people who have had these procedures done. It is extremely common amongst young girls these days. And Botox. I know girls who are in their mid-twenties who are already having Botox injections to stretch their face out. I mean, you're in your twenties. Your skin is about the best it's ever going to look at that age. And you're already getting procedures, already spending money on this crap that you don't need. But that's what I'm saying. It's become trendy. Girls ever chasing this standard of beauty that they've made up in their heads. And we know that the danger is becoming hooked on it. I mean, there are most people who just go in to have a little touch up, just tweak themselves a little bit, and then that's that. They're done. But for the most part, we know that that's not true because it's an addiction. Chasing this standard of beauty is an addiction. You're not going to go in for just one injection of lip fillers. Oh, by the way, they make it so that you have to come back to re-plump them up. So you've already started down the path of spending money continuously to get these baboon butt lips inflated the way they're supposed to be. And then you're getting the bow Botox injections. Soon your face is going to be pulled so tight, any expression on your face is just going to be minimized and you'll keep chasing it. You'll keep chasing this idea in your head of perfection that will never be satisfied that leads you down the path of other surgeries like breast enhancement, Brazilian butt lifts, rhinoplasty and not for medical reasons, tummy tucks, cheek implants. And it all starts small, doesn't it? It's just, I'll oh, just get a little bit. But no, for sure, you're going back there to get a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more until either one of these things happen. One, you've realized you've made such a huge mistake and that you look terrible. You get it all removed, but the damage is done. You no longer look how you used to. The procedures have augmented and mutilated your body and it's never coming back from that. Or two, you keep going. You keep going until you end up looking like a Barbie doll, a alien, or some people even take it to the extreme of trying to look like animals. And that's getting to this stage of mental illness. It is body dysmorphia at its craziest and these people need help. So anyway, I'm going to have a look and react at some of the crazier botched plastic surgery cosmetic procedure TikTok videos and see how bad things can really get. <laughs> This woman on the popular show Botched has had so much Botox injection that she can't even raise her eyebrows anymore. Raise your eyebrows. Raise your eyebrows. They are lifted. Now, 
Okay, that I'm Botox is in full effect. I mean, is it worth it? Is having skin so stretched out and with no lines in it worth not being able to express emotion anymore? To her it is. Here's one of a lady from Australia who has had her boobs so massively inflated to a crazy degree that she was out in the hot Australian sun and she started to smell burnt rubber. Living in Australia, it gets fairly hot. After spending time in the sun, there was a funny smell out of my implants. Like... Burnt rubber. Burnt rubber. Yeah, basically my breast implant popped again and I am having surgery to take them out next week. I am going to go back natural. Oh, God. It's so unnatural looking. I don't understand it. They literally look like two cantaloupes sitting on her chest covered with skin. And here is a case of a male with serious body dysmorphia. Look at the lips. Look at the lips. Look at the side profile of the lips. He's even saying they're so big, I'm afraid that they're going to pop. Sometimes like filler can leak out of the sides. But not for health concerns. He's afraid that his lips will be small again. And I'm going to end up with small lips again. It is a mental health health problem. <laughs> And here we have a guy who is getting plastic surgery because he wants to look like an alien. I was born here to become this alien. This is on the extreme side of plastic surgery. Once again, mental health problem. I want to be vaguely threatening to this world and I'm not stopping until I get there. Here is a video of a beautiful girl from China. Went in to get a nose job. The nose job got botched. It became infected somehow. And her nose ate itself, disintegrated and pretty much fell off her face. Yeah. That time I ran into the girls from Botch. Oh. Good lord. I know my name is Sugar Tits Bear and I can appreciate a good rack, but seriously, no. No. The one in the pink. Basketballs. Basketballs on her chest just hanging. I don't even know how they're staying up like that. How her skin is not being ripped off and detached from her body because of these giant basketballs hanging off her. Why do that to yourself? I had silicone removed from my butt to save my life and now you can see my butt from the front. And you can see also the Brazilian butt lift there just to think the amount of money that this person has probably spent on altering her body because she thinks that that's beautiful it's actually really sad and now obviously cosmetic surgery is very popular in the transgender community. You're dealing with people who already have body dysmorphia. They don't like the way they look. They want to look a certain way. So they're getting a lot of surgery. And here we see a transgender person who has had so much work done to their face. It looks ridiculous. As you can see from a botched facelift, the ears have been pulled right down across their jaw. And now of course, the only option to fix this is more surgery. They put so much tension, it pulled the ears down. And here's another video of just awful lip fillers to the extreme. Absolutely grotesque. Now, there are so many of these videos on TikTok. I could not get through them in a whole video. And a lot of the videos I've shown you are the extreme cases. But yeah, the sad reality is that most of these videos are from accounts from young, impressionable girls who are already quite beautiful that still feel the need to alter their faces. And this was only under the search of botched. So these come from the many videos of people who regret what they've done to themselves. Every bitch walking around the streets here is full of something. For the most part, the videos on TikTok of girls getting these procedures like lip injections and Botox are young, don't need it, but they love it and they're addicted to it. And we just hope that these girls either run out of money to stop getting it done or realize that they don't need it before they end up like one of these extreme cases. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check me out on BitChute, Odyssey or Rumble. And I'm also on Twitter, so go have a look there too. Tits out, everyone. Gigantic. Gigantic plastic tits out, everyone. Tits.